While Quadrax only has four CV inputs, it's possible to use them to control up to four parameters for each channel. In other words, one CV source could potentially be routed to all four function channels and to four parameters on each channel. That's 16 destinations from one source. This is all possible because Quadrax uses a CV assignment matrix to route modulation. CV assignment mode is accessed by pressing and holding the button for the function channel to which you want to assign CV modulation. The button will then begin to flash magenta to show that you're in CV assignment mode. Now you can press the buttons on the left to choose which CV input source you want to select, and which destination you want to control. Repeatedly pressing a selected destination will toggle through different levels of attenuation to determine how much modulation passes to each target. You can also hold the button to turn it red and invert the incoming modulation. Of course, you could always use a dedicated attenuverter module like Quadrat, Triplat, or Duat for hands-on control of the level. The CV targets are Rise, Fall, Shape, and Level. With each input, you can select as many channels and modulation targets as you want, and these assignments will be retained after power cycling. If you want to clear the CV assignments on a channel, Press and hold both buttons on that channel until they flash blue. To clear all CV assignments, press and hold the top left and bottom right buttons until they flash blue. Modulating fall is a great way to add variety to a sequence by emphasizing certain notes. Because fall controls the waveform shape in LFO mode, this can create morphing timbres at audio rate or more complex LFO modulation. Of course, we can also modulate the shape control to make things even more interesting. Remember that in LFO mode, rise controls the rate or pitch, so this can also be a lot of fun to modulate. It tracks one volt per octave, so you can even use this as a VCO. Modulating level makes it easy to create crescendos or swells. Just set one channel to cycle or LFO mode, and use this to control the level of a second channel, providing an envelope to a VCA or a filter cutoff, or both. Okay, let's try playing around with some CV assignments. Right now, I have channel 1 set up as an LFO, and if I turn the knob far enough clockwise, it will become audible. We could use a VCA to control the level of our sound, but we actually don't need one because with Quadrax, we can modulate the level of this LFO. In this case, I'll do this with channel 4, which is set to cycle. If I long press to select channel 1 as what we want to modulate, then select the CVA input and select level as our destination, we can connect channel 4 to CVA to control the level of channel 1 without using a VCA. Now let's use FSR to control the fall rate of channel 4 to add variety to this rhythm using the CVB input. I long press channel 4, then select CVB, then select fall. Now when I press on the pad, I can modulate the fall time to change the rhythm. With the button lit green, pressing FSR will slow the fall time. If I turn it red to invert the modulation, I can speed up the fall time. I've malted the output of FSR to also go to scales, so let's use that to make this patch melodic. First, I'll connect scales to the CVC input, then I'll select channel 1 again and choose CVC, then select rise, which controls the LFO rate, or in this case, the pitch. Now we can play melodies with channel 1 by pressing FSR. Okay, one last thing. Now I'm going to use channel 2, which is also set as an LFO, to modulate the wave shape of channel 1. I select channel 1, choose CVD, and select fall, which is our morph control. You'll notice that if a channel has active CV assignments on one or more inputs, they will light up dimly in blue.
While I'm at it, why not use our cycling envelope on CVA to modulate the shape of channel 1 as well? Well, that covers the features of Quadrax. As you can imagine, between the channel modes, linking options, and CV assignments, there's a lot to explore with this module. Next, we'll take a look at the QX Expander.